You spent a lot of a lot of hours out here. A lot of hours. Well, that's what handcraft is all about, isn't it? I never worked so many hours when I worked for somebody else as I did when I started working for myself. You know, that's what they always say about a, a someone in business for themselves. They work themselves harder than they've ever been worked. The guy I used to work for, we built houses and did remodeling. And I used to tell him I couldn't understand how he worked so many hours. Of course, he run the business. I quit at 4.30 and went home. Now, I'm out here all the time. My wife didn't come out here and help me sometimes. I'd never see her. <laughs> well, uh, you know, you, you stay out of each other's way when you have to, but you got to get together sometimes to help out, don't you? Man's got to have a place to hide. Yes. <laughs> your shop's your place to hide, is it? I was telling people how I didn't know this place was here, and there's people all around the world who know this place is here. Oh, I shipped. Two big boxes to Canada the other day. Our shipping bill was about $130 just, Good. just for shipping. I shipped to Australia, Japan, Korea, England, a lot to England. I don't care where they want it. If they want it, I'll send it to them. You'd be surprised how many of them come back for more. That's great. You know, a wood shop, kind of like a mechanic shop, smells like wood, looks like wood, a little dusty, it's the way it's supposed to be. A little bit of paint, a little bit of... A little bit of everything. Lacquer thinner. This was in Country Sampler magazine a couple years in a row. This year it didn't do too good, but I've shipped these all over the world. So. 